He also talked with a former TPS teacher turned state rep who says the tweet raises some troubling questions. Governor Kevin Stitt has not been shy in his criticisms of Tulsa Public Schools. He cited one parent in his State of the State address. She said, I'm a Tulsa Public Schools lifer and never in a million years thought I'd be uttering these words. She said, my kids are miserable. But most of all, thanks to all of you. In contrast, this week, the U.S. Department of Education held TPS up as an example of how to reopen schools safely, one of only four districts in the nation to be given that platform. They were most intrigued by the work that we're doing um, to support our students uh, to uh, academically and socially and emotionally, and sort of the combination. But Governor Stitt's Chief of Communications, Charlie Hanema, was not impressed. He tweeted that it must have been a typo. The TPS opened weeks behind everybody else and is hemorrhaging students. Enrollment is down this year, which Dr. Gist blames on the pandemic and believes a rebound is coming. She found the tweet disappointing. And I think it's our job as leaders when something positive happens, if something positive happens to a, a fellow school district, I want to give them you know, props for that. We're all in this together. But former TPS teacher turned state representative John Waldron sees something more troubling here. It's not just what he said, it was how he said it. In the snarky kind of frat boy way of taking a, a swipe at a hardworking uh, school district that serves the people. Waldron wonders if this is the public message, then what are the conversations like within the administration? Are you concerned about what the conversations are like behind closed doors? Exactly, because the people don't get to see those. We have an Oklahoma standard, kindness, decency, uh, regard for others. And what we're seeing is this kind of nationally uh, national rhetoric of divisive politics and attacking the other side. Panama would not sit down for an interview. We sent him questions about whether this is the governor's stance or if he had any additional thoughts on the post. He sent us a statement doubling down on his tweet saying countless other Oklahoma school districts would have been better examples for the Biden administration to highlight. Tyler Butler, News Channel 8.